This is Steve with the NSAF here and Project Triple Jump Clinic here in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're here with one of the uh, young professional athletes who spoke with, with everybody and, and gave a presentation Friday night here, which we're all really grateful for and excited for, uh, Fabian Florent, who is representing uh, the Netherlands now in, in international competition, but uh, Fabian, tell us a little bit about your connection to this area and how your international affiliation has kind of evolved. Okay, originally I'm, I'm from Dominica. I did all my youth track um, there, went to the World Junior Championships. Uh, from that point, I, re I received the full scholarship to um, Missouri State University. And uh, from that point, I stayed in spring for Missouri training. and. Um, got good enough where I was um, on the world rankings uh, with the best 25th jump in the world in 2009. Um, from that point, then I did realize that I need some warm weather training, so that's how I ended up in, in South Florida. Uh, I, I moved here in 2011 to prepare for the 2012 Olympic Games. Okay, so that was the first time you'd been here, right? 2011? Yeah, prior to that I did visit a few on f a few occasions, but mm -hmm. that was the first time I actually moved down here for training, but just to take advantage of the warm weather. So I've been in South Florida for about three years now, and uh, I've seen a tremendous in increase in my, uh, my my performance just being able to uh, have better quality training in, in the warm weather. So, and what was the connection you had that led you to, you know, to to be able to speak with us on Friday night? Uh, my training partner Bavon, um, he is in he's friends with one of the members of the of the organization, and he told me that they were doing a youth triple jump clinic, uh, triple jump clinic, and I was pretty excited about it because I felt like um, I could always give some information and, and, and pass on all the valuable um, uh, experience and knowledge I've learned over my my years of being a professional jumper. So I thought it would be a good initiative to come down here and and give something back to the community and back to the kids. So, um, so far it's been good. I'm, I was very happy to help out in any way that I could. And I, I really do hope that the, uh, the kids uh, take advantage of the opportunity and, and, and make progression towards their, their professional career. Well, what do you feel like are some of the pieces of advice that you know, things you've learned or, or maybe you know, mistakes you've made that you can tell people, hey, don't do this? Or what, what are some of the things you feel like are most valuable that you can pass on from your experience? I think planning is very important. I think uh, before the kids en enter college, um, they should have a goal as far as like what they want to achieve. And if they do, do want to pursue track on the professional level, then they have to set that goal in college so that by the time they get to All-American status or national champion, then they actually can have that hunger to continue doing the, uh, the event. Um, taking care of the body, uh, making sure you do all the preventive uh, uh, injury, um, you know, exercises, ice bath, and, and you know, to make sure you, um, you you're able to, to to have a healthier body for a longer period of time, and. Um, <clears throat> I would say having a good coach and having a good program is very important. One of the things uh, about me during my collegiate career, I had a good coach and um, he did show me a lot of the, you know, the basic fundamentals of the triple jump. Also, he gave me part of his personal experience um, while he was a prof professional athlete. So I think choosing a, a school or a program that has a really good triple jump program is very important towards the development uh, because you don't, I don't think the kids would want to be in a situation where they would graduate out of college and then try to find another way of making it to that next level. It's very important to get that that um, foot in the door and, 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 and get going so that from college to transition to the professional level will be a lot more easier. What do you think about this you know, program that these kids have here, that this opportunity to have a couple clinics in the States and then go to the Bahamas and to, to learn from Coach Pratt, who's obviously one of the world's outstanding coaches? I think it's a really great opportunity. I think that um, a lot of jumpers today um, even myself, had I had this opportunity when I was when I was a youth, um, I would have been way ahead because uh, the experience and the knowledge that I've gained of my career being a triple jumper came after years, many years of of dedication and hard training. They have the, the they are very fortunate to have a coach with that much knowledge and experience in the development stage of their career. So, which means that they should accelerate pretty well. Um, <clears throat> that's something that anybody that wants to succeed in, in the sport can ask for. I think it's a really good initiative. I think the program is gonna is gonna yield some really good talent, and um, long term wise, I think that you know that's really gonna help develop the, the the event in the U.S. because we're 
the U.S. is a really big country, and yeah. and when you compare to a lot of smaller countries like, for example, Cuba, which is um, much more smaller than, than than the U.S., they have a lot of talented trainer jumpers, but they do have a development program that they have the kids um, start very young, and that right. yeah. you know propels them to 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 excel excel by the time they get into their their teens and their, their senior years. So I think this is the beginning of something great, and I think uh, you know we we're gonna start seeing a lot more um, U.S.A. Um, triple jumpers on the map. And uh, give us a quick sense of how far you've gone now, and and what uh, you know what, what your PR is, and what how you've placed at some of the major meets the last couple of years. Uh, came a long way. Um, my first international track meet was the 2002 World Junior Championships. I actually qualified in the 100 meters of the triple jump. Uh, that back then my PB was 10.55 in the 100. Uh, from that point, I went to um, <clears throat> first. I went actually went to Linwood University in St. Louis. I was two-time NAIA national champion. Moved over to Missouri State I, uh, University. I had a full scholarship there. Then I was um, NCAA All-American, three-time Missouri Valley Conference champ. Uh, from that point, um, I switched countries and started representing the Netherlands because of my mom. Mm -hmm. And um, this year indoors, um, I was uh, I made the finals in the European Indoor Championships. And I broke my national record there. Um, my 55 something. Yeah, right? yeah, my current personal best is 55 feet four and, four and a half, and my long jump PR is uh, 25 feet four and a quarter. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We really appreciate that you were able to come here this weekend and talk to the kids. No problem. Anytime. Thank you.